Hey guys, what is going on? Medigo2012 here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys a story about the time that me and my friend almost burnt down a forest. So let's get right into it. So it's like any other day that me and my friend hung out. Let's call him, let's name him James, because I'm not going to give away his real name. So me and James went to hang out. I called over there. His mom was fine with it. She, they came and picked me up. And his mom decided to take a nap once we got there. And me and James, being the little rebels that we definitely were, we decided to go outside and play with fire. Which, guys, do not play with fire at home. Playing with fire is a terrible idea. Never play with fire, okay? Fire is not something to fuck with. Anyways, so we started just by burning leaves and stuff and just messing around burning some sticks and... Yeah, all that fun stuff, and then my friend James decided to take it up a notch. He was like, hey, Austin, my mom has a lighter refill inside. Should I go get it? I was like, uh, that sounds like a bad idea. He was like, oh, don't worry, don't worry, we'll be fine, nothing will happen. It'll just be a little explosion. I was like, I mean, uh, do you really want to? He was like, yes, I really want to do this, man. I was like, then it's not my house, it's your choice. If you want to do it, go for it. So we began to build the bomb once he brought it outside. We put <laughs> the lighter refill inside a kickstart can and we made a fuse out of yarn. It was uh, a really bad idea. So we decided to, from there, we got all this stuff and we, we lit the fuse and we put it in a basket by a tree. And, you know, that obviously doesn't sound like a good idea. But we lit it in a basket by a tree, and nothing was happening. So we decided to go inside. So after we got back from being inside, we, well, I decided to go check outside because he was just chilling in the garage. And then, so basically, I went out there, and I seen the most horrifying sight ever. I seen the woods on fire. My face was probably the most priceless thing ever, but it was terrifying. I thought we were going to get in trouble. So I went and told him, and so basically he came out. He didn't believe me at first. He came out, and he started crying. He started freaking out, and I had to snap him out of it. I was like, yo, dude, we have, we must go outside and fix this. We got we to gotta put the fire out. So we started stomping it out, kicking it out, you know, hitting it out, getting rid of the fire. He started to get water buckets, started splashing them on and shit like that. So that happened. We started like hitting it out. It was working very well and no big deal, right? So if you guys know about DCs, the skating shoes, the high tops, I personally wear them very untied because they're the most comfortable way. Most people wear them like that. And I was just wearing them like that, you know, enjoying myself. Well, not really, but that's usually I enjoy myself when I wear them. But as I went to kick one, uh, a higher branch out, which I managed to hit, my shoe went flying. My $90 DC shoe went flying. And then, you know, it went into the flames. I had bigger things to worry about trying to get this fire out. So I went back to hitting the fire out, and we f eventually got it out. And I went and found my shoe, and I was like, oh my god, my shoe's gone. It was like pure black. You could barely tell it was a shoe still. So, the thing that amazes me the most about this day is no one got caught. We didn't get in trouble. N no one knew. This, keep an eye on, guys, this was right next to a road and right next to a power line, which almost caught fire in the story. I forgot to mention that, but it almost caught fire, which would have been awful. We would have been really screwed then, but none of us got caught. And no one basically knew. I don't know how because there was like a big black spot in the little wooded area. I mean, there was like a front line of trees that was covering it. So, I mean, I guess it wasn't that bad. But none of us got caught. His parents never found out. And I had to lie to my parents about the my shoes. I told my mom that we were playing soccer. And I went to kick the ball. And my flu went shy, shine, flying into the the pond and they believed it which was so bad and hit his mom never suspected a thing and they moved out of that house so we will never get caught for that keep in mind i was probably like two or three years younger than i am now in the story and so was james so if you guys have enjoyed this different kind of like this different kind of video please give it a big old thumbs up if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe 
And if you want me to tell some more life stories that I have in my vault of my brain, just just comment down below more or something to dignify that you guys want more. Because I'm more than willing to tell you guys more stories. I just do not know if you guys will enjoy them. So if you guys have enjoyed this, please hit that like button. Tell me that I should keep doing it. I want to keep doing it, but I just want to see you guys' reaction. So that's all I have for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys either all over at the stream or in my next video. Peace!